Welcome to Creative Biolabs. Since the release of the first publication on how to generate monoclonal antibodies back in the 1970s, this field of research has grown tremendously. Monoclonal antibodies can play therapeutic roles through several effector functions, such as antibody-dependent cell-mediated cytotoxicity and complement-dependent cytotoxicity. Compared to radiotherapy and chemotherapy, monoclonal antibody therapy has higher specificity and efficacy, fewer side effects, providing promising results especially in the treatment of cancers and autoimmune diseases. However, conventional monoclonal antibodies cannot reach adequate therapeutic effects in some cases. Therefore, engineered monoclonal antibodies are developed to make up for the deficiencies. Enhancing the effector functions is one of the major strategies for the development of engineered monoclonal antibodies. Here, we will discuss the development of effector function enhanced antibodies and the solutions provided by Creative Biolabs. In this presentation, we will go through the following topics. Structural composition of an antibody molecule. Mechanisms of antibody effector functions. Engineering strategies to enhance FC effector functions. Development of monoclonal antibody drugs with enhanced effector function. And services at Creative Biolabs. As we know, antibodies are immune system related proteins called immunoglobulins. Each antibody consists of four polypeptides. Two heavy chains and two light chains joined to form a white shaped molecule. The amino acid sequence in the tips of the Y varies greatly among different antibodies. This variable region, composed of 110 to 130 amino acids, gives the antibody its specificity for binding antigen. The variable region includes the ends of the light and heavy chains. The constant region, also known as the FC region, determines the mechanism used to destroy antigens. The constant region in the heavy chain is divided into three subregions, CH1, CH2, and CH3. For antibodies produced by eukaryotic cells, the CH2 regions are usually modified by glycosylation with sialic acid, galactose, and acetoglucosamine, mannose, and fructose. The glycosylation can be classified into several types, such as GOF, G1F, G2F, and G2NS, which differ in immunogenicity, biological activity, and pharmacokinetics. Glycosylation is involved in a series of protein functions, such as protein folding, transmembrane transport, cell adhesion, immune response, and so on. The glycosylation of monoclonal antibody drugs is closely associated with drug efficacy drug metabolism, drug stability, and immunogenicity. Antibody effector functions are an important part of the humoral immune response and form an essential link between innate and adaptive immunity. Most of these effector functions are induced via the FC region of the antibody, which can interact with complement proteins and specialized FC receptors. The latter can induce activating or inhibitory pathways, depending on the type of receptor, and are found on B cells and most innate immune cells in various combinations. The most well-known FC-mediated antibody effector functions are antibody-dependent cell-mediated cytotoxicity, also known as ADCC, antibody-dependent cellular phagocytosis, ADCP, and complement-dependent cytotoxicity, or CDC. ADCC is induced when FC gamma receptors on innate effector cells are engaged by the antibody's FC domain that is bound to viral proteins on the surface of virus-infected cells. This interaction induces the release of cytotoxic granules, resulting in the killing of infected cells. ADCP is the uptake of antigen-antibody complexes by phagocytic cells. Phagocytic cells, including monocytes, macrophages, neutrophils, eosinophils, and dendritic cells, express FC gamma receptors, all of which can mediate immune complex uptake. 
ADCP results in the clearance of immune complexes from infected host by the trafficking of the complexes to lysosomes for degradation and antigen processing for presentation on MHC molecules on the cell surface. Besides ADCC and ADCP, antibodies can also induce complement activation. The complement cascade contributes to pathogen elimination either directly by means of CDC or indirectly through phagocytic clearance of complement-coded targets and the induction of an inflammatory response. Activation of the classical complement pathway results from binding of the recognition molecule C1Q to the FC domain of antibodies, leading to cleavage of C2 and C4. Together, the resulting cleavage products form the C3 convertase that cleaves C3 into C3A and C3B. The highly reactive C3B binds to target cells, leading to immune complex clearance and phagocytosis through complement receptors found on immune cells. The terminal complement components will assemble into the membrane attack complex, also known as MAC, resulting in the lysis of the infected cells. In addition to ADCC, ADCP, and CDC, antibody molecules also participate in the processes of programmed cell death, also known as PCD, and antibody-dependent cell-mediated cytotoxicity, or CDCC. As most of the effector functions are induced via the FC regions of the antibodies, FC engineering has been considered as the most powerful way to enhance antibody effector functions and thus enhance their therapeutic efficacy. Firstly, glycoengineering is the important strategy for the development of monoclonal antibody drugs with enhanced FC effector functions. For instance, a fucoslation or the removal of fucose results in higher ADCC activity and galactoslation results in higher CDC activity. Introducing unique mutations in FC region is another widely used FC engineering strategy. Researchers have found lots of amino acid sites in the FC region to be mutated to enhance FC effector functions. For example, mutation of serine at position 239 to aspartic acid will increase FC gamma R3A binding and decrease FC gamma R2B binding, resulting in enhancement of ADCC and ADCP. A mutation of lysine at position 326 to tryptophan will increase C1Q binding, resulting in enhancement of CDC. Although both IgG1 and IgG3 can effectively activate complement, IgG3 antibodies can bind C1Q more effectively. Therefore, Cross-isotope antibodies have been generated by replacing the CH2 and CH3 domains of an IgG1 antibody with the corresponding regions of an IgG3 antibody, which increases the CDC response. High-resolution crystallography studies have revealed that specific non-covalent interactions between IgG-FC domains induce altered hexamer formation on the cell surface that provides a docking platform for the 6-globular-headed C1Q molecule and thereby efficiently activating the complement pathway. Introducing the specific point mutations E345R and E430G at the FC and CH2-CH3 interface can stimulate the FC-FC interactions between antibodies and facilitate the natural concept of antibody hexamerization, leading to superior C1Q binding and enhanced CDC. In addition, FC duplication or multiplication, by which multiple FCs are linked within one IgG1 molecule, has been shown to augment FC gamma R binding avidity and increase ADCC and ADCP. Although various strategies can enhance ADCC, ADCP, or CDC effector function, they do not uniformly increase these effector functions when applied to different antigens. Modulating the FC tail to enhance ADCC, ADCP can negatively influence CDC and vice versa. It is recommended to evaluate FC factor function enhancing strategies for each target individually. In the development of FC-engineered monoclonal antibody drugs with enhanced effector functions, 
multiple strategies should be comprehensively taken into account. Although many effector function enhanced monoclonal antibody drugs are currently in preclinical or clinical development, only a few of them will be finally approved for marketing. Obinutuzumab is a humanized anti CD20 monoclonal antibody that can be used as a first line treatment for chronic lymphocytic leukemia. It was approved on November 16, 2017, and has become the only approved FC engineered monoclonal antibody drug with enhanced effector functions so far. Creative Biolabs has become a leader in the discovery and manufacturing of recombinant antibodies. We provide high-quality services to customers in academia and industry worldwide. Our cutting-edge ADCC enhancement, CDC enhancement, and dual ADCC CDC enhancement technology platforms allow the development of the most comprehensive list of effector function enhanced monoclonal antibody products, an extensive service portfolio at the most competitive price. After your projects reach ADCC CDC optimization, let our experts show you how to accelerate the development and unleash the even greater potential of your ADCC CDC enhanced antibody. With the help of our specialists and their expertise in antibody production, as well as state-of-the-art technology, we are committed to delivering our customers the best antibody engineering services and ensuring that every step of the process meets your requirements. For therapeutic ADCC CDC enhanced antibody production, we use bioinformatics and gene editing tools to generate the desired vectors. The antibody modifications, such as site mutations and glycoengineering, are introduced in this process. After several rounds of clone selection and optimization, the antibody expression cell line will be constructed. We provide mammalian cell lines for the production of recombinant therapeutic proteins which can produce a large number of products of consistent quality to meet current regulatory requirements. Like other biopharmaceuticals, therapeutic ADCC CDC enhanced antibodies also require extremely high purity and potency. Therefore, multiple characterization and purification processes will be conducted. Creative Biolabs monitors parameters from quality by design and glycosylation-related critical quality attributes throughout the production process. During the development of therapeutic antibodies, characterizing ADCC and ADC activity and determining its impact on clinical efficacy is critical. Creative Biolabs is committed to providing one-stop design, production, and analysis services of next-generation ADCC enhanced therapeutic antibodies for our customers. For our therapeutic ADCC CDC enhanced antibody analysis service, we use human peripheral blood mononuclear cells or natural killer cells as effector cells and to determine antibody activity against specific target cell lines. We perform a series of biochemical, immunological testing, such as antibody-dependent cell-mediated cytotoxicity assays, glycan analysis, FC gamma receptor assays, C1Q binding analysis, FC characterization, and aggregation characterization to ensure the desired ADCC CDC enhanced antibody meets the customer's needs. For more details about Creative Biolabs antibody ADCC CDC enhancement services, and other therapeutic monoclonal antibody development services and products, please visit our website or contact us directly.